The most beautiful designer jewelry doesn't have to cost a fortune, and Luxury Bazaar has the best selection of unique pieces to elevate your look. A huge thank you to Luxury Bazaar for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check out their website, link down below. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am unboxing and sharing my first impressions of the two new Shantikai face powders. These are part of their new holiday collection. I picked these up from Saks.com. I also placed an order for one of the brand new lip crystals directly from the Shantikai website. Unfortunately, it has not arrived yet, and since I'm traveling next week, I didn't want to wait. So I figured today we can open these up, play around with them, and I will complete my makeup. Each of these powders retails for $92, and even the exterior packaging is stunning. So here I have the Eclat Dew Face Powder. This is a soft, blurring and perfecting, luminous powder balm. It's supposed to have a soft, creamy texture that adds a gentle glow. And this is the Eclat Brilliant Face Powder, a radiant powder that sweeps a strobe of golden light across the high points of the face. They also brought back the Lip Crystal Lipsticks, which you may remember from the Polar Ice collection in the spring. They have that gorgeous glittery effect. The lipsticks retail for $51 and there are three shades. Carnelian Red was part of the spring collection. It was so popular, they brought it back again. There's Rubolite, which looks like a berry mauve shade. That's the one that I ordered. And then Rose Quartz looks like a gorgeous pinky nude. All three shades are stunning and they come in this really pretty gold packaging and they teamed up with the same nonprofit as last time. So for each lipstick sold, Shantikai will plant a tree in Kenya. It's a really great cause. I wasn't going to purchase one of the lipsticks. I was kind of set on the two powders, but I figured why not? As I'm looking at the Shantikai website, they added something else that's new. This is the Le Gold Clutch. It retails for $98 and it's meant to be an evening bag. It's acrylic with gold flakes, which is very beautiful. I'm curious about it. I would love to see it in person, but I don't really think of Shantikai as an evening wear brand. I don't know, it looks very beautiful and it certainly matches the entire aesthetic. Usually when they come out with a new collection, I feel like they have a story or an inspiration. I didn't see anything anywhere or read anything about that, but I would say that they probably set out to create the most beautiful holiday collection on earth, and I think they succeeded. Let's begin already. I have my compact here that I usually use when I'm applying makeup. This was one of the limited edition holiday powders that came out from Shantikai a couple years ago. I always get questions about it, and unfortunately, it was limited edition, and it sold out almost instantly, which I think will be the case for these powders as well. Shantikai is notorious for only sending a few pieces to the stores, so if you do see something in this collection that you love, I recommend picking it up right away so that you don't miss out. I'm going to begin by going in with the face powder, Eclat Dew. Ooh! So gorgeous! And I did read online that they came in a really pretty bag. This is gorgeous for travel. For as gorgeous as this powder is, it looks a lot smaller than the Pearl Compact, and there is actually less product. In the Eclat Dew face powder, there's seven grams. In the Pearl Compact, there were nine grams. It's almost a non-issue since the Pearl Compact is no longer available, but I wanted to compare them so that you could see for $92, you're not getting a ton of product. This one is described as the creamy powder balm. Ooh. And it is so creamy, so silky. It feels so different from any other powder. It's hard to describe. Let's see. It looks really light. And it definitely does have a little bit of a glow to it. So you're gonna wanna be careful. Well, it looks pretty on my hand, let's put it on the face. I brought you in a little closer and I turned the light down so hopefully you can see better. I'm gonna go in with this refer brush, 04. Pick up a little product. It's so soft and delicate, I'm almost afraid to use the brush. But actually, it's not kicking up, my finger swirling kicked up more dust. This is actually kind of laying it back down, I think, smoothing it out. I probably used way too much. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
In the pan, you can see that it is somewhat reflective, but when I look closely on the face, I can actually see little flecks of sparkle, which is not something that I expected. How interesting. Yeah, I can see like right here, there's like a chunk of glitter. Oh my gosh, and I think I just pressed it into my pore. All right, well, it's gone for good now. My first impressions of this powder is that a little bit goes such a long way because it is very bright, very light, and it's even more luminous on the skin than you can really tell in the pan, which is very surprising to me. I love the texture. I love how soft and buttery it is, but I think you need a really fluffy brush and a light hand to make this powder work for you. I feel incredibly pale now, so I'm gonna go in with bronzer. much better. I may have overcompensated, but I really wanted to add some color to my face. Next, I'm going to go in with blush. This is the Chantecaille Cheek Gel in the shade Happy. It's a beautiful light pink shade. What I love about these cream cheeks is that they're very easy to blend. You can just tap it on with your fingers. And I apply these over creams, over powders, and I never have had an issue. I am just going in with a little bit. This is my problem with things like this, is I just go overboard. I think, oh, it's going to be really light, and then I just keep adding more and more, which is probably what happened with the powder. Now it's time for some glow, so let's go into the Eclat Brilliant Face Powder. And again, it comes in a really pretty satin bag. Beautiful. I love these compacts. These look so fancy. And I, what I love about them too is that each one is going to be unique. Since you have the little gold flecks, they're all going to be different. Really pretty. Ugh. This highlighter is so stunning. That gold textured effect, it's beautiful. I kinda don't wanna touch it, but I kinda do. Ooh, wow. That is blinding gold. Really pretty though. That wasn't even that much, so let's see. Oh wow, that is so nice. I will say this gold shade of highlight is going to be best suited for somebody who has some color to them. So a light to medium, medium to deep skin tone will love this highlighter. Whereas the powder is truly made for somebody who is fair. Even if you go in with the smallest amount of that powder, it's going to give you a lot of brightness. So I would say pale to light, maybe light to medium, but you'd have to be careful. If you're a deeper medium skin tone, I don't think that blurring powder is really going to be, look nice on you. It's just going to be too dusty and too ashy on your skin tone. This is something that is going to be suited for medium and deeper skin tones. Once again, I turned down the lights and I brought you in a little closer. Hopefully that helps. I'll see when I watch this video back if it even made a difference. I'm just going in with this Sigma highlighter brush. You really do not need to pick up much product. I don't know what I'm thinking, treating this like it's not super pigmented because it clearly is. Okay. And that is all you need, truly. Wow, that was such a small amount on the brush. It's very pretty, but I will say with the illuminating powder, with the highlight on the cheek, it's a lot of glow. Beautiful for the holidays, but I'm trying to be careful about not over highlighting. I think sometimes I get carried away with my highlighter and I end up applying too much, at least when I'm filming. It's because I want you guys to really be able to see the product in action. 
but if I were to go outside right now or run errands, I would feel a little bit self-conscious about how glowy my skin is. Maybe not self-conscious. I mean, it's makeup. People can get over it if they have an issue. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's not the daily look that I would prefer. Beautiful color. It is so pretty. I am overwhelmed by how beautiful this highlighter is. Gorgeous. And even though the compact is a little bit smaller, you only need such a small amount. I mean, this will last you a lifetime. I think I match my couch pillows, actually. All of this gold on my face. My makeup is now complete, so I'm back to share my final thoughts. I wish I could tell you that these powders are awful and they are terrible and you should stay far and far away from them because $92 is outrageous to spend on a powder, but they are everything that you would want them to be. I love all of the little details. The packaging is so beautiful. The little silk bags that they come in, the exterior packaging, the little gold compacts. These are incredible powders and they're limited edition. They're exclusive for the holidays. They're very special and the product inside is high quality. You can tell. So let's start with this Eclat Dew. This is the creamy, creamy balmy powder. A little bit goes such a long way. This compact is going to last you a very long time. It's very luminous. It gives a soft glow, but definitely a glow. So if you are somebody who prefers a matte finish, this isn't going to be best for you. However, if you are fair, light skinned, you like a little luminosity to your skin, this is going to be perfect for you. And then we have the Eclat Brilliant Face Powder. This is the gold highlighter. This is beautiful. I love everything about this highlight. It is so pretty on the skin, very glowy, very luminous. It gives you a beaming highlight. So of course you could be light-handed if you prefer a soft glow, but if you like a BAM highlight that's really bright and blinding, you can achieve that easily with this compact. I think this highlighter versus the powder is going to be best suited for more skin tones. I think if you're light, you can still wear this. If you're darker or medium skin tone, this is going to be a gorgeous highlight on you. It's very expensive at $92, but you only need such a small amount. Chantikai always does such a beautiful job for the holidays. I don't know why I sort of wasn't even thinking about them. I didn't really have Chantikai on the radar until I saw pieces from this collection and seeing it in person, it's even more beautiful. I cannot wait for my lipstick to arrive. I wish it was here today, but of course, you know I will show it off as soon as it does arrive. The gold sleek packaging is so beautiful and the glittery effect we've seen now several times from a lot of different brands. Dior and Gucci already did it for the holiday season this year but I don't care. It's for a good cause. It plants a tree in Kenya and it's a beautiful lipstick. I am so happy with this entire collection. Shantikai did it again. They are one of the best luxury brands, truly. So beautiful and a great brand that you can get behind and you feel, you feel good spending your money with them. And that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments, your questions down below. As always, I will be linking all of the products mentioned, everything that I use today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. 